Hey Capricorn, so this is your part two. I am very sorry about having to do this in two parts, but I am absolutely not redoing, haven't gotten that far in. So, and this is a good reading, so I'm just going to have to post it in two different readings, oh wells. So it does, there is a level of like this big shakeup coming in and you're going to just have to start over, but you are going to need some rest here um, to get through this. There's no doubt about that. What's up with your person? Knight of Coins. They're moving very slowly. Uh, you could definitely be dealing with a Virgo with some strong water in their chart um, with this Knight of Coins. But they are going at a snail's pace. And I don't think that waiting for them is, is what's best for you either. Making your choices regardless of what anybody's doing. Whoa, King of Coins. Um, you may have... You maybe definitely could be dealing with another or they may have children and that's what's slowing them down in this other relationship. Um, or they're just broke. Oh man, I think this person went from being someone who was like really, really successful to hurting. They downgraded. It was like they rags to riches to rags again. And this person's hurting and they don't feel good enough for you because of it, Capricorn. That's rough. Um, this person may have lost money gambling or, or just making really bad choices in general. Um, or the cost of their child has increased something. And it's really, it's messed with them big time. Whereas you continue to ascend and you continue to get better and better, you have really good luck and good fortune coming in, which may be what this tower moment is. Wow, gain. Yeah, you keep focusing on work. I'm getting Capricorn. Focus on you and your own personal gains because this person is hurting big time. They feel oppressed. They feel stuck. They are hurting financially. And I'd hate for you to let this person in and them wreck shop in your life because of it, especially if they're with somebody else. This is, it's, you're realizing it's simply not worth it. Yeah, and starting over with someone new is definitely, um, is, is, is the way to your happiness and good fortune and starting over there's strong starting over and healing energy uh page of cups yeah i'm getting that you're starting over on an emotional level and a passion level but not a financial level you're doing great with work and work is going really well and i'm really happy for you i think that it's going to continue to go to well and you've got new love brand new love and this past person is still completely stuck i mean i do think that they're they're gonna try and do something but what with what there's not much for them to i don't think they have much to give you because they're in such a bad way um where is this person at this past person oh success all right hold on what success and abundance all right good Hanged man. Damn it. They get caught up on, they get stuck on when they're successful, they, they're they good. But when, when things aren't going their way, I think they become a really terrible partner and manipulative. And I mean, it's like almost like or this person somehow needs to see abundance and success in a different way. Wow, the devil. It's almost like money has completely manipulated their their way of thinking, Cappy. And I'm really sorry. I know that's tough energy. It is. And, um, oh man, I'm sorry. I think this new, but you've got new real love in here. So... I wouldn't even bother asking about this past person anymore. And I would just keep moving with this new person that you got going on. Um, because, yeah, you have a choice right now.
Like you can choose between past love and new love. What's it going to be, Cappy? Face your fears. It's like almost like Capricorns are worried about, well, is it better to choose the devil you know? And it's like, no, it's not. Stop looking back at this past person, Capricorn. It's not helpful. I, I'm not getting that. I mean, you can do whatever you want if you want to go back to the past, Capricorn, but that's not, yeah, complication and changes. There is, it will only lead to complication, and you've got to make real changes. It's up to you. And I'm really sorry about that because sometimes, you know, you do want to just sit back and, but this time it is, it's like, you know, and these changes, like really pay attention to all aspects of who you are and make decisions based on that. Get to know yourself on a deeper level so that you can make good choices that aren't based on fear that bring in real change for you because I think that's what you want. This person is afraid to step on the path. You know, I do believe, but they want to. And I can see what you see in this past person. I can because I don't think they're necessarily a bad person, but they have a lot of growing to do. And they may just be starting out on this spiritual path. They are, they're just beginning. And you're, you've been on this spiritual path. So I do think that you're f way further ahead of them. But they may catch up. All right? Eventually. But for now, you need to focus on new people, new things, and, and these big changes coming in. And not be afraid of them. Okay? Because it's... I know. I know it's hard. But... Let's see. Oh, release your emotional baggage. Argonite. Yeah, I think that's true, Cappy. I think that, you know, you definitely want to do that. And I think your emotional baggage includes this past person. So release them. Aquamarine, go with the flow. And Lapis, make a decision to embrace the changes, the big changes that are coming in for you, Cappy because it's huge. It's so huge. Be kind to yourself. This person needs to learn how to love themselves before they can ever love you. Um, this pink opal reminds me so much of um, sunstone as well. Whoa, carnelian. Feed your creativity. Yeah, this person needs more energy. They need more like life force energy I'm getting. Prioritize your health. I think this person has not been doing that. And I think that they've been giving into addiction or I'm getting really strong, either gambling or um, some kind of addiction. Labradorite. See the magic. Wow. This person is just waking up to the spiritual path and they don't understand it yet. And pyrite, let the money flow in. And it's almost like their money mindset is is messed up. I'm surprised Iolite didn't come out or anything. Where, you know, this person definitely needs to switch up their money mindset. There's no doubt. Whoa, Meribai. Uh, the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. And I am married to my own soul. Yeah, so make sure that love of self is very, very important right now, Capricorn. Make sure that you understand that, you know, your freedom is everything to you. Goddess of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. Yeah, you keep, yeah, you got to make a decision here, Cappy. But know that like you have a bright light inside you that everybody can see. This person can see, I can see. And it's important that you shine that in the right places. Uh, la la. I never say that. I never know if I'm saying that right. The saint of the spoken word. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Yeah, remember that this person is the author of their own story, not you. And nothing you can do can make this person see things in the way that you would like them to. So release control over like 
you know, this person and let them do their own thing, you know? Um, Mao Shan, the princess of mercy, giving is receiving. The energy of the universe is merciful. So I definitely think that, you know, this person needs to learn how to give and receive in a healthier way. And possibly losing you may be a part of that or helping them grow. I mean, this could be anybody. Even if you came here asking about a certain person, if this reminds you of someone else entirely, I may have picked up on someone that you didn't necessarily want me to read for, but they came through really strongly, probably because they're squeezing on you. So make sure you're protecting yourself from this person. So if you came here asking for somebody and this sounds like somebody totally else, I'm sorry about that, but it definitely had to come through for a reason. And so, and again, I'm sorry for the two parts. It sucks, but um, this was a great reading because you are bringing in huge changes. And it's really important that you go with the flow, but also try and guide, you know, things to go in the way that you want that will bring in your ultimate happiness. Capricorn, I love you so much. And I hope this resonated. And I'm sorry again for the two different videos. I don't know how to edit. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, you're looking great. And things are going well. You do have a tower moment coming in, or you may have just had a tower moment come in. Ride with the changes, okay? I know change is hard for you, but you've got this. All right, love you, Capricorn. Take care.